how nervous were all three of you? Why, why didn't you all get together and watch it, or had you seen...? Well, because I'm sick of... to death of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, well, uh, we were denying it, I think, but we were quite nervous. You're always nervous before, before a new show goes out, even if it's something that you can be fairly confident will work, because, let's be honest, we've done something a bit like it mm. before, um, and we know that there are plenty of people who like it, but it's still... It's quite a fragile thing, the relationship we have and the, the chemistry that people always talk about. And could it have been lost over that intervening year and a bit? And, and, and maybe we hadn't noticed. That was yeah. the fear, I suppose. But on the whole, people seem to like it. So and thank you. How determined were you all to stick together after Jeremy left, shall I say, the BBC? Uh, <laughs> very well done, yes. Thank you. Um, well, it oh, wasn't, was that it wasn't, me beeping? I'm it so wasn't sorry. a given. That's all right. It's the modern world. It's it is, isn't it? It's the, it's uh, the agent. <laughs> um, yeah, you're sacked. You're sacked. <laughs> <laughs> could be worse. It could be mine in a minute. But anyway, the uh, it, it wasn't a given because we had to find a home. We became homeless as a as a television making entity. But it it became clear fairly quickly that it was actually what people wanted us to do, and it's what we're best at doing. We are we are a bit of a collective old dog. <laughs> well, the big, the big mistake the BBC made with Top Gear, in my opinion, was to keep the format, to basically do exactly what you guys had done before but with different people, which was a big mistake because then that's going to warrant comparisons. Mm. What have you done? You have been told you can't touch the Top Gear format, so you have to do something that's different. Well, the, yes, there is quite a bit of that. I mean, it was a good stimulus because it forced us to rethink what we did a bit, anyway. I mean, it's not going to be terribly unfamiliar if you watch yes. the Grand Tour. It's still us, and we're still the same people. And how bit. did you feel about about Chris Evans? Do you think that was, was tough shoes to, to fill, or three pairs of shoes to fill? Um, yes, I think he's a very brave man. Were you surprised man. that he he didn't stay and see it out? Or I didn't really think about that, to be honest. Um, I, th I think it was a very ballsy move. I wouldn't have done it. But then he's a ballsy bloke mm. and slightly mad, So and somebody had to, so, you know, yeah. good try. Well, talking about ballsy and slightly mad, why does Clarkson always get into trouble? Right, <laughs> so there you are in Germany this week. You're coming back from, through Stuttgart Airport, and he, he's prevented from going on his plane. The airline will say, because he was late for it and intoxicated, he says, no, neither um, of those things. Uh, well, he were you there? No, he, Did you see what happened? Yeah, he wasn't intoxicated. Um, this is a bit embarrassing because... I'm sure we weren't early, let's put it that way, <laughs> but we rarely are. The, the tragedy is I, did, I missed the first bit of the altercation because I was actually behind him and I was, I was hoping this wouldn't come out because I was actually in a gift shop buying a cuddly toy for someone. Oh. Oh. So I, I missed the first bit of the altercation, but, I mean, we got home on another flight. Uh -huh. it's, not, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh-huh. But is well, that... you're, saying, you're saying, why is he always in trouble? He's yeah. always, yeah, yeah. Well, he's not really. I mean, he's quite... He's, he's quite sort of establishment he just says slightly naughty things occasionally i think there are bigger problems in the world than jeremy clarkson you know and there's this rivalry of course isn't there still with the show that's on the bbc so is that well, that's really good i suppose yeah there's a bit of rivalry there's rivalry with other tv shows and I, I don't think we're very badly behaved i sometimes lament that our lifestyle isn't a bit more rock and roll <laughs> because i mean if we were ACDC or we had been Led Zeppelin and we, you know we'd fall out of the back of cars vomiting and all sorts of things like that and people would just go <laughs> those boys how many times have you fallen goes, it's disgusting they've missed a <laughs> the plane what? if I went on one of those rides I would fall out of the back of that car vomiting um, it, it must be quite I mean I know they call you Captain Slow but um, I mean there's some speeds and there's some tricks and there's some things that you have to go through that stomach churning uh, I've never been car sick though. Mm. I've never had motion sickness. I'm very grateful because I've seen people who have. I was once on a ferry that went across from Brindisi in Italy over to Greece and it was it was very, very rough. There were a lot of Brits on board, a lot of sort of backpackers and things. This was when I was very young. And, and pretty much everybody in the boat was being sick apart from me and a couple of German blokes I was talking to. I remember I went into the, I think it's called the head on a ship, and you know it always yeah. has a ledge on it in case it floods. And the floor was two inches deep in vomit. Oh. Oh. And there was a man lying face down, and he was oh. like a cartoon. He, was, he actually was green. I always thought that was a myth, but he actually was green. And as I walked in, he looked up and he said to me, 
kill me. <laughs> oh. And he meant it. Yes. Listen, That's I get terribly seasick, and I, I understand that. You just think at that point, I don't care. Yeah, well, I've never had it, and I'm, I'm delighted. I'm scared of heights instead. And have you I... never, have you ever nearly been killed filming any car stunts or injured so. anything? Not broken, yet. <laughs> nothing. No, all I'd... in one piece. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done anything particularly life-threatening. I've, mm -hmm. I've had a few fractures and broken a couple of ribs and things, but they're playground injuries, really. Mm -hmm. OK. You glad to be back? You excited to be back? Very, yes. I, I, I felt very good when I woke up this morning because, I'm, in the end, we're all quite needy <laughs> and people liked it and it's nice to be liked. Uh... Yeah. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.